The Redmi 4A has been impressing us all the while from the day of its launch from the price and to a lot of things today we're going to talk about yet another custom rom for the xiaomi redmi 4a now the name of the rom is colt os which is based on android 7.1.2 this is a custom rom just like any other custom rom and it is my duty to bring the latest version of any custom rom to you guys for this wonderful device now i'm glad to inform you that this rom is by a developer that i personally know his work is good and everything about him you'll find it in the description so credits to him for the good work and this is going to be a quick install and preview just because this phone is not my daily driver. I'm using the Redmi Note 5 Pro as my daily driver and the OnePlus 6 is around the corner. They released a teaser about it. So all about the leaks of the OnePlus 6, the video is coming up soon. But today's video is about the install and preview of Colt OS for the Redmi 4A. And before we begin, I have got some promotion to do. None other than my own channel. The second channel that I launched a couple of days back. The second vlog for that particular channel is out. The name of the channel is Kratos 390. It is about biking, about my KTM Duke 390. Here's a card to that. Just go ahead and subscribe to it and don't forget we have a giveaway going on there's a card to that watch that video like share subscribe stay tuned for exciting stuff on smartphone tutorials so without further ado hello awesome people welcome to smartphone tutorials my name is Kalash let's begin talk back to you say you say you like that if I hate you all right, so looks like we are ready for the install and preview of this beautiful ROM. Hopefully it will be great. I have not tested it yet as my daily driver. But yeah, before we begin, the usual set of disclaimers. Make sure your battery is above 50%. Make sure you've backed up all your data. You will need an unlocked bootloader, TWRP, and you need to be on the no good ROM. That is the latest stable ROM. Otherwise, if you're on Marshmallow, you need to flash the no good firmware, of course. Now, before we begin, what we've got here is, let me show you, I just have two files that I have copied into the phone's internal memory. One is uh, Colt OS, the ROM itself, and one is open Google Apps. So, to begin with, the first thing that we will do is go to wipe and swipe to factory reset. Now, once that is done, remember, we are not going to wipe the internal storage or the micro SD card because that is not required in this particular process. After that, simply go back to the main screen, go to install and first we will install the ROM itself. So swipe to confirm flash. There we go. Now I've had a look at the amount of custom ROMs this particular phone has using the Telegram group and uh, the link for that particular Telegram group will be mentioned in the description. It has more than around 1300 members from across the globe and it's a very very active group and I can tell you guys that Oreo is coming real soon. The developers are hard at work for bringing Oreo to this device but it will be a while before it becomes stable. But what is good to see is that uh, such a mainstream device, such a low-end device, there are so many people working on it and it's just brilliant. If you want, you can go ahead and join that group. I am there in that group as well, but I remain inactive most of the time because earlier there was only one channel. Now I have two channels to take care of and there may be a third channel about gaming which will come in a couple of months or so. So yeah, if you like my smartphone stuff, stay tuned. And if you like what you see on the other channel, please do subscribe and share there as well. Meanwhile, this particular flash process will take anywhere between uh, three to five minutes. So please be patient while the flashing is done. I'll see you guys once the flashing of the ROM is done. All right, looks like the ROM is almost flashed. It says patching firmware files, so that's good. All right, so Call to OS is now flashed, but remember we need to go ahead and flash Google Apps. So open G Apps, ARM64. I chose the Pico package because that is how I like it. It's a small download and once Play Store is installed, you can choose what apps from Google you want to download using their Play Store. So that doesn't leave you with a lot of unwanted storage space being used because this is a phone which comes with 16 gigabytes of internal storage and you would not want to use that internal storage for apps that you don't need. Now, while the apps are installed, let me tell you a few more things. Uh, there is a bootloader unlocking video that is coming in a couple of days. So that's a step-by-step -step guide. And uh, 
I will also inform you that uh, the bootloader on the Note 5 Pro is still not unlocked. It still has around 170 hours left. So that's, you know, five or six days and then the bootloader will be unlocked. So after that, you will see a, you know, lot of videos and I'm still struggling with my Note 5 Pro to bind the account. So I don't know in which uh, era or which century the Note 5 would be unlocked. But yeah, it's, it's, it's quite funny that uh, the bootloader is still not unlocked despite having the phone for more than a month and having the same account and stuff like that. Nonetheless, Google Apps are flashed. We will wipe cache in Dalvik just to be safe. Yeah, so reboot system, do not install. So that's gonna be the first boot, a fun thing to do here. Watch the boot animation. I think this is a new ROM for the Redmi 4A. So this is an exclusive to our channel. At least this build is exclusive to our channel and Okay, the boot animation looks fresh on the lines of Google, but something different. Always good to see a new boot animation. I'll see you guys once the phone is booted up. All right, so looks like the ROM has booted up. Um, yeah, the wallpaper is great. Trebuchet launcher is a little old school, but what is good is it a snap, snap it camera. Uh, launcher launcher it has omni switch so you can enable that and then this is what you get this is one of my favorite features although it makes it a little messier here but then again yeah this is what the phone looks like with this particular rom and if we look at the camera it has footage camera inbuilt so i don't think there should be any issues with the camera okay yeah Yeah, excuse my storeroom. That is why I all that is where I always shoot. So it looks all it always looks messy. But we are working on a new studio, and that should be coming soon. So yeah, you have the file manager and a bunch of applications here. A uh, snap it camera. That's a different cam. Probably the clarity is better on this one. Uh, I'll really try to review some ROMs for you guys. But the only thing is that I need to use this device as my daily driver for that. But nonetheless, that is not stopping us from going into settings. Yeah, so that's cold center for you. Let's see the customization, carrier label, network traffic, all usual stuff. You could customize quick settings, blur personalization. So you have a separate menu for blur. So one of the first ROMs that has this. Uh, immersive recent settings, okay, that's fine. Recent apps, navigation bar, you can enable a navigation bar if you wish to. Lock screen, so there's a hell lot of customization. You can customize the power menu, animations, called continues and about called OS. So that's the number of developers this ROM has. And from the first looks of it, it looks good because voice over LTE icon is displayed there. So I don't even need to make a call and check if it is working or not, because I'm pretty sure there are no bugs in this particular ROM. So that was the install and preview, like a quick, quick view at this particular ROM. Now I really, really want to review a lot of ROMs for this particular device because I know a lot of you guys are watching this particular channel for this particular ROMs and you know, this particular phone. So let me know in the comment section if a lot of you want me to review custom ROMs for the Redmi 4A. If there are enough requests, I will seriously, seriously consider, you know, using this phone as my daily driver for a week and maybe review eight to 10 ROMs. And also hit like if you liked this particular video. Don't forget we have a giveaway going on. So participate that everything is mentioned in the description and the link to my new channel is also mentioned in the description. It was great talking to you guys. This is Colt OS for the Redmi 4A, which you just saw. Like, share, subscribe, stay tuned, keep smiling. Godspeed, goodbye.